Now in the thirteenth part we are saying that a bullet is there and mass of 10 gram is there. Gram must be converted into kg. So it will become 0 0.01 kg. How? Dividing it with 1000. Then it is moving with a velocity of 150. That means this is the initial velocity and strikes a stationary wooden block and comes to rest in 0 0.03 second time is the u is the 150 and final velocity we can understand that it is coming to rest so obviously we would be zero so i need to find the distance of penetration of the bullet into the block and we need to find the force for force we need m into a and this means distance means s i need to find so first of all i need to have a acceleration so that we can find it with the help of v is equal to u plus a t what is v zero u is 150 a is not known t is 0 0.03 so from this we can easily find a take 150 to the other side minus 150 it would be and a is in multiplication with 0 0.03 so minus 150 divided by 0 0.03 is equal to a removing the decimal place 20 in the numerator and divide 3 with 15 you would get 5 so you would get minus 5000 meter per second square as a this is the acceleration of the body bullet s, s i need to find and how we can do it s is equal to ut plus half a t square u in this case is 150 Time in this case is 0 0.03, half is there, A is minus 5000 and T square is 0 0.03 square. Now multiplying 150 with 0 0.03, so you would get approximately answer would be 4.5. Minus sign would be there, divide 2 and 5000 you would get 2500 and multiply 2500 with uh, 0 0.09 so it would give you 2.25 now minus 4.5 and 2.25 it will give you 2.25 meter this much distance the bullet can penetrate into the wooden block now they are saying to find the force force is nothing but m into a now we have m m we have is 0 0.01 a in this case we have is minus 5000 so removing the decimals i would put 100 down and two zeros would get cancelled with two zeros so you would get minus 50 newton 